I've always wondered what would happen if you could fish from your own bed. And today, I'm gonna be doing just that. So, we've got the air mattress. I'm over at uh, Alex's place right now. We're, uh, we've got the air compressor. We're gonna try and pump this thing up and uh, fit it over there in the car. I don't really know if it's gonna fit. Um, I got like a big one, so we'll find out. <laughs> We are, oh no, I got one hand up. We are carrying this thing out to the car right over there. <laughs> we're see if this thing will fit inside. I don't think it will, but. We'll have to do a diagonal angle. I'm about to say, we're gonna have to triangulate this thing. All right, so uh, we're getting the, the air mattress in the, the car, but uh, I think James miscalculated the size of this mattress because it ain't fitting. It, it ain't fitting. There's no way that this thing is gonna fit. It's in. So we are actually heading out to the pond right now, and uh, somehow I I do not know how we did this. We managed to finagle this mattress <laughs> into this car. Uh, getting it out is going to be a bigger problem, but uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. <laughs> this is going to be awesome. All right, guys, we are at the pond, and uh, now the biggest challenge right now just is looks. getting this mattress. Oh, I'm actually scared this thing's actually gonna go under on me getting on. Okay, let me kind of like do like one of these maneuvers. I'm just gonna kind of roll into the middle mm -hmm. and you make sure to hold on to that because if I if I get out there without a paddle, I'm screwed. <laughs> okay, we ready? All right, yeah, let's go. Okay, ready? A one, two, three. <laughs> We're in. All right, he hold, is. Hold over, hold me right there one second. He, he is lifting off. Go ahead and can give me a send off. All right, like, yeah. send off. Oh, let me get the GoPro off. The send off for JH Miller 01. Okay, ready? All right, here we are. Oh, I got a proper send off. Okay, here we go. You ready? Thanks, let me. Literally, I don't see why not every single YouTuber ever has done this challenge. This is the coolest thing I've ever done. Okay, so what? What's the? What's the? Please, I want to catch one on this so bad. Okay, this ain't gonna. Like, this is actually so cool. <laughs> oh no. Okay, okay, here we go. Oh, is it? It's good. Dude, like, literally, this is the coolest thing I've ever done. I'm gonna try to, man. I wanna catch fish so bad. Uh oh. <laughs> We're in circles. Okay. Okay, so, guys, uh, this is the first time I'm actually talking to you guys because I'm still in shock that I'm actually doing this. Uh, main concern is getting blown around by this wind. Now, I am in a spot where there are potentially some good fish. Again, main worry is the wind blowing me over uh, where I won't be able to get back to shore. James, you're not getting out until you catch a fish. I got one. I got one. No way. Oh my gosh, look, James literally just got one. Look at that. No way. No. <laughs> no way. Oh my gosh. James, what are you? Season fisherman, baby. Going in for the release. There she goes. Okay, I've got to re-situate myself, guys. I cannot believe that just happened. It is only about two pounds or so, but I mean, it's a good little, it's a good start considering I'm on a freaking mattress in the middle of a pond. Not two pounder, not bad, not too bad. There we are. I'm actually in a really good spot right now. Oh, I got one. That's a good one. That's a good fish. That's a good fish, dude. Did it pop off? It just popped off. It popped off. That's a really good fish. That's a good fish, dude. I have no idea how deep this water is right here, 
definitely sketching me out. It is, yeah. If you fall in there, it's done, though, buddy. You are floating away. Like, you're sure, so he is this far away from everything. It's pretty far. He's about like halfway down the lake. All right, guys. So um, basically, James is right there, and he's caught one fish. Three pounder, not too bad. Yeah. But he is still out there. He is going towards the shore even more, which is a good thing, but uh it whenever he paddles it kind of does this weird thing. But uh he's still out there. There's James. I have no idea what his intentions are. But let me tell you, they're not good. Alright, update. James is still over there. He hasn't um found a way out to steer out of that brush, but um he still hasn't caught a fish. He caught one fish, and like that in itself is like immaculate. Like it's crazy. I didn't. I never expect him to catch one fish. You said before we recorded that you're not catching a fish, hands down. What is that? Big one. That's another fish. Number two. That's crazy. That that that's kind of fitting too, because we were talking about how you said you weren't gonna catch a fish, and then that one take you caught a fish. You're on an air mattress, man. Everything feels heavier. I will say this is one of like most fun things I've ever done, like ever. Like I literally always as a kid, I dreamed about like fishing from bed. I was like, how cool would that be? And here we are, blankets included, man. Let it do its own 360s, James 2020. Come on, man. Come. This thing's actually kind of moving a little bit. Once you get it going. Once you get it going, that's kind of, isn't it like the Newton's first law? Huh? That, that's like Newton's first law. An object in motion will remain in motion until an external force is acted upon it. Here we go. James, buddy! You made it. You did make it. So, is fishing with an air mattress worth it? You bet. So I actually plan on taking this thing out on uh, future voyages uh, as soon as maybe next week. So uh, if you guys uh, enjoyed this video in any way, shape or form, just me screwing around, I'm actually going to come out with the intent of actually fishing a normal day on this mattress. So uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications uh, so that you don't miss that. And uh, drop a like if you enjoyed this video. So until next time, JHMR1 out. See ya.